This is a quick demonstration video of a standby application for a Primac GSL 65 standby generator. This is the Primac ACO3 controller manufactured by Comap and rebranded for Primac. We've done a quick installation for testing and demonstration purposes. Common terminal strip there where all the wiring is all connected. Automatic battery charger. You've got your connection, communication cables. You go from the generator to the ATS panel. This is the Primac ATS 100 amp panel. This is the automatic switch. Currently A is on. A is mains, so basically mains is supplying at the moment, B is generator, so no, no power coming from the generator. This is the connection points, so this is going to the building or the load side, it's connection points from the generator to the ATS panel, connection of mains to the ATS panel, and that's connected up to the building to simulate mains power. On the ACO3 controller, you'll see that it's in ready mode, mains operation, if we scroll down, generator power, there is no power going through the alternator, supplying power. Mains, you'll notice that there's mains reading, so there's mains power going through. So this is sensing the mains from the building, from the switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the mains power off at the switch to simulate a blackout. Going back to the main screen. You'll notice here that mains light is on. So there's uh, power being supplied. The power source is coming from mains to the load side. The generator is inactive and no power is being supplied from the ATS to the building from the generator. We're going to turn the power source off, the switch, to simulate the blackout. Once we turn it off, the generator will start up fairly quickly and change the contact is over. Generator will start automatically. Contact up. Change quickly. So both is now off. Now the generator is supplying power to the ATS panel. Now if we look at the controller, it's loaded, it's in island operation, so the generator is supplying power. Scroll through the controller, you see the generator is now supplying power. There's readings from the actual generator. No readings from mains. You'll notice here that there's a red light for mains, so there's no mains power. Green light here for the ATS panel being supplied power from the generator side of the switch and that the generator is green which means that it's supplying power from, from the alternator. Okay, now we're going to turn the switch back on to simulate return of mains from the blackout. Back on. Have a look at the controller, we'll notice that it's got loaded, mains is returned, and there's a return delay. So there's a delay before it actually changes the contact is over. So now you'll notice the generator is outputting uh, supplying power and mains is also supplying power. So now we've got uh, about 20 sec seconds before the return. Coming back to the ATS panel, we've got generator B on and then mains A off. What will happen is the B switch will go off and then A will come on to return back to mains power. Fully automatic system. Coming back to the generator. Now the generator, if you have a look at the panel, 
is in cooling mode, mains operation, so mains is supplying power to the ATS panel and to the load side, and cooling, 10 seconds, the unit will shut down. The generator has now shut down. Look at the controller, it's in ready mode, so it's ready for standby application. Mains operation supplied to the ATS. Ready for another blackout. That's it.